more than one element to that. Oh, uh, yes. Of, uh, just, if you just purely think of day-to-day living, lodging, food, direct exactly. transfer, I mean, just that unto itself uh, is, is a challenge. And uh, typically, uh, it's been my experience at least, that many of the veterans that have to travel uh, that uh, possibly are older in age, yes. don't have the resources available to them, that becomes a real strain on the family. It does. And uh, uh, any any way to alleviate any of that burden is, to me, at least a step forward. It, it will be. There are several reasons why. There are things that veterans have happened to them that can be taken care of across the nation. There are special things, I, I will grant, that there are special things that sometimes a veterans hospital is much better suited for doing. But I think that the support of the family, the being inside of the community that, that now they've called home, is so rewarding. It is so powerful that we should strive to give them that respect to allow them to stay where they are for their support group. So that, that's something that I'm very passionate about. I'm also passionate about taking down some of these barriers because it is embarrassing as a country to actually sit here and allow veterans to wait for eons it seems until they get care that's just not acceptable to me and i will fight forever for that which is a which is a good lead into uh asking the question why is it so important to you why why are you passionate about this what what can you do to make a difference 